Hello viewer, just like to tell you about this little painting here, how it came about. So last week in the pair pass, these, these really haunting, really haunting photographs of all these people in Auschwitz, these young, young people, children in fact. And then we went from black and white and a colorist, a kind of a Brazilian artist, uh, Marina, Marina, Chabral, whatever. Really colored them in, but the black and white ones, it didn't matter how you, what you do with this, these, it was the eyes. Absolutely, whoa, my heart was just trapped in time watching it. It's just looking at them. Anyway, this is what happened uh, at Easter. I painted that little painting on the right, which is the Judas kissed and what I'd done I'd scraped the palette off and put it on that little 16 by 12 inch canvas and I'd scraped it onto there then I got a load of thinners and just rubbed it all in and left it and then when I seen those those photographs I just I don't know I was sat down here in my little studio and and well I just painted her mainly with a sponge believe it or not and a little paintbrush but anyway it doesn't matter it's it's the colors it's the randomness of the colors it sort of matches the the turmoil in her eyes you know and i really hope i've done justice to that but, but it's that randomness and that turmoil and they truly heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking pictures and we gotta we gotta make sure we don't do this again you know we got to make all our kids see this and understand what humans are capable of. We really have. I mean, this lost girl. Well, she's not not lost now. She's found now, and she's going to stay found forever because that has got to be. That's the way it's got to be, and that's got to go for all of them. But this young girl absolutely, absolutely trapped me. So I hope I've done a bit of justice to her, her short life. And there it is. Wow. Strange how it all happens. Gotta go. Got it.